If you are ready to grow your business with an AI version of you, you have come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact process of training your AI clone. I'm Jodie Cook, founder of Coachbox AI, where creators, including coaches, entrepreneurs, authors, YouTubers, and podcasters, build an AI version of them that can generate leads, add value to their clients, empower their team, and even add a new revenue stream. It's all really simple using our platform, and I will show you exactly how to get up and running and ready to launch. The first thing to do is head to coachbox.ai, create your account, and start your free trial. You will then be straight in here, where we get your AI chat page to reflect your brand and vibe. On this page is where you upload your image, which could be a headshot, a logo, or a futuristic avatar. You just add the name of your AI and you set two brand colors using these options so your AI chat matches brand you. Here's where you choose the data you want to collect from people who engage with your AI. This is especially important if you're using it to generate leads and I'll show you why later. Next, we're heading to style and tone and it's straight in with three important sections. First, you tell our platform who you are. This helps your AI see from your perspective. So summarize who you are as a professional. Include your name, your job title, what your company does, as well as your expertise, experience, or accolades. It's super important here to be clear and concise. Proofread for errors, write in third person, and stick to the top level main information. Next is your approach to helping people, where we want to know how you serve your customers or audience. Add your areas of expertise and the result you help them achieve. This helps your model understand how you work with people so it can take on that task on your behalf. And finally, describe your personality and tone of voice and don't hold back. This helps your model sound authentic, which is exactly what we want. Now we're onto the style sliders. So what you wanna do here is slide them to match your style as a coach, teacher, leader, or advisor. Think about how you engage with your clients. Whatever you put here will change the responses that your AI gives. So let's go through these, starting at the top. A coaching style asks questions and holds space. A mentoring style gives specific advice and guidance. Maybe you're at either end, or maybe you're somewhere in the middle, in which case choose the position that matches your style. Then we have the others. So an empathetic style is more gentle and pragmatic. A straight talking style is direct and no nonsense. This next one is about the length of responses. And although these are context dependent, very short answers are one or two sentences and comprehensive answers are between five and eight. A formal style uses more complex wording. An informal style is more conversational. An accepting style responds based on the information presented. A challenging style pushes back or digs deeper. A serious style delivers information with conviction a humorous style adds a sense of lightness. Some of the differences between points on each scale are relatively subtle. And of course, the overall goal of your AI is to provide the best possible experience for your client. But we want it to be as reflective of your style as it can be. These style slider combinations give thousands of personality types for an AI, so choose where you think you are right now. We have resources available if you want extra guidance on anything here and you can always revisit and make any edits. Next, we're on to conversation. This section is unique to Coachbox and it involves giving your AI your signature greetings, sign-offs and starters so that it uses them when it's mimicking your approach. This section is to help your AI pass your personal Turing test. And by this we mean, when your clients engage with your AI, do they believe it's a true representation of you? So for each of the greetings, the sign-offs and the starters, we want you to add five to 10 options based on the words you actually use in real life. For reactions, think about what you say when someone gives you positive, negative or neutral news and avoid being extreme here. We then have the question and statement set up. These are worth adding, especially if you ask questions or set up statements in a very specific way in conversation. If you're stuck knowing what to say, you can check your sent emails, your text messages, your voice notes or social media responses. Maybe you have transcripts of client calls. You can ask your friends and ask your clients, ask your VA, or simply just become more aware of the words that you're using the next time you're in a conversation. 
When you find a phrase that you often use, add it in here. This is how your AI will reassure your clients that your AI is based on you and it's gonna get them prepared to get value from whatever they talk to you about. Now we've set up your AI to engage in your style, we are onto content. This is how we're gonna give your AI a knowledge bank unique to you. Your brain, your methods, your expertise, ready to help add massive value to your clients and audience. So let's start with knowledge upload. The process we built here turns your existing content into AI training data. So here's where you upload files, which might be articles, book chapters, transcripts, or course material. Maybe pages from your website or interviews that you do. For best results, this content is clean and clear. And then our software makes question and answer pairs, which we call prompts and completions. Right here is where these pairs are stood, and you can always add more by uploading a CSV file. This is perfect for directly adding FAQs or other information that you've compiled separately to Coachbox. If you've been creating content for a while, this is where it works on your behalf. Now, when someone interacts with your AI with a question or a statement that matches something in this training data, the AI model has something to reference in its response. It can now respond from your worldview, in your style, using something you have created as a basis from which to compile the perfect answer. There is no minimum requirement for training data upload. Even if you uploaded zero content, you would still have an AI that interacts in your style. But how much content you need depends on how broad your area of expertise. A few articles might give you 100 prompt completion pairs, but a book might be a thousand. We've got excellent AIs with four or 500 pairs, others with 5,000 plus. It makes sense to start with the content most related to the topics your audience will ask about and quality wins over quantity. Ideally, we don't have duplicate prompts and we wanna cover as much of your specialist expertise as possible. To help you know where to start with uploading, picture your ideal client standing in front of you saying to you, can you help me with, or I'm struggling with, or even I'm feeling. So whatever you would say in response to those questions or statements is exactly the type of stuff that should be in your training data. We have a bunch of guidance about content specifically if you need any extra help. But overall, upload your content and let our system compile your training data so your AI has as much of your relevant knowledge as possible. When you've done this, head into fine tuning. This is where you have a live conversation with your AI. This is the really fun part and spending just a little bit of time in here will improve your AI very quickly so it's ready to add value to your audience. Ask your AI questions that your audience will likely ask you and then rank them on a scale of one to five stars and edit the response so it perfectly matches what you would have said. We save your edited completions along with the context of your conversation and this is used to keep improving your AI. You'll be able to see the conversations your AI is having with your audience by checking your client screen. You'll see the data collected from clients to engage, including summaries and transcripts of every chat. When you're in there, if you see that a client has asked something new, you can click to edit the response and add it to your training data for future responses to keep your AI improving and becoming even more valuable to everyone who chats with it. At any point, you can head back to file upload and upload new files, or you can add new training data pairs individually. Within the training data room, you can search the data and delete anything that's no longer relevant or edit the answers to update them as you wish. Creators often ask us if they should train their AI differently depending on how they want to use it. And the answer is, so of. If you're aiming to add as much value to an audience as possible, or if you're gonna charge for access to your AI, you wanna train it with all of your best content. If you're using it as a lead magnet to collect emails and to get someone onto an email track, it mainly needs to look good and be able to give a valuable experience and answer the most common questions really well. If you want your AI to upsell other products and services, you'll wanna train the AI to share your book a demo link or direct people to a landing page, for example. In your Coachbox dashboard, we will tell you how client ready we think your AI is, and you'll see this percentage go up as you train it. At some point, it will be ready to launch, and that's when you can test with a smaller group before sharing it with the world. If you follow along so far, you will have done all the hard work and be perfectly positioned to let it do the rest on your behalf. 
To get started, head to coachbox.ai and sign up for your trial. We have more guidance at the training help link in the description below and we offer unlimited async support that you can call upon at any time. We are so excited to help you grow your business with an AI version of you and we look forward to meeting you and them very soon.